Hey, welcome to the channel. So today, as you can see, I have my hollow body AF85 art core, not terribly expensive. I uh, did a video on this before I pulled the pole pieces because this pick, the neck pickup was very, very muddy. But today, we're going to talk about that jangly tone. What is that jangly tone? Uh, how do you get it? Do you need a Rickenbacker? Could help. Uh, expensive, but could help. Do you need a Gretsch? And you can get an Electromatic Gretsch with a Filtron pickups for under a grand. Probably help too. Maybe a Telecaster, Stratocaster, uh, you know, single coils. But the key here is really to understand how to adjust your parameters with your pots and your three band EQ on your amp, turning your treble up a little bit, maybe keeping your tone up higher, not rolled down, and get a chorus pedal. That's what I recommend. I don't have a chorus pedal. As you'll see in this video, I have a Jazz Chorus 77 from the 80s. And then from my pedal board, You'll see, yes, the pedals may be a little out of order. I need to move that compression out, but I play mostly acoustic through it anyway. And the other pedals aren't on. <clears throat> Regardless, I run uh, Jazz Chorus. I turn the chorus on, and that's where I get that. I also have my MXR Overdrive pedal, as you can see in the clip, that uh, I have the gain turned down. I just barely have the gain on, just enough to give it a little bit of round, round note, round blues, uh, tubey sound, but not distorting sound necessarily. So get yourself a chorus pedal and check out that effect and add it to your pedal board and then try to tune in your settings that you want to uh, play with them until you find the tone that you like check out some Tom Petty and Mike Campbell guitar and uh, go they're fun tunes to play on the guitar they're fun strumming songs easy to play so check those out follow for more and I hope you enjoy this video mm -hmm. 